Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Cam. Welcome to a very special watchmaker's video. Here we are in Geneva with the one and only Simon Brett. Simon, thank you for having us. How are you? Very good. Thank you for, for, for coming. My pleasure, my pleasure. So I've seen your watch all over Instagram. A lot of my friends and uh, let's say fellow collectors have one of your pieces or are waiting for one. So how did you start? Where did you come from? Like you, uh, for me, it's like all of a sudden you were there, sick watch, sick movement, decoration, everything. But What's your story? Where did you come from? So I'm French. Uh, I come from the, the middle of France. I study mechanics uh, and uh, I moved to, to Switzerland to, to learn more about watchmaking. Oh. So I study. Uh, I'm an engineer and I'm not watchmaker. And uh, yeah, I start working uh, for Jean-François Mojon where I learn how to develop movement. Mm -hmm. I stay there um, more than five years. Uh, after that, I moved for MCT, Manufacture Contemporaine yeah, du yeah. Temps, Sick watches, with so. Denis Giguet and, and Pierre Jacques. Uh, I stayed there uh, close to two years, uh, where I developed um, a new concept of watch uh, with the digital display. Mm -hmm. After that, I moved for MBNF yeah, uh, yeah. with Max. I stayed there yeah, more than three years and a half. Um, which, uh, which watch did you work on mostly? I developed the Bulldog yeah. uh, HN9 oh, nice. Sapphire, uh, only the case, and uh, the LMX, um, yeah. wow. the, the movement from the, the blank page. So it was uh, just an amazing nice. uh, yeah, experience. Yeah, after that, I, I have to, to make uh, my own company because mm. my parents are independent. So I have this in, in blue. The, at the beginning, I didn't expect that I will make my own watch run, but uh, only company to develop case and watch for the watchmaker. But at the end, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the, the things change uh, like this. And uh, you went too deep in the rabbit hole. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you started and all of a sudden you have a sick watch. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Awesome, so awesome. it goes very quickly. Uh, I cannot lie. It goes very fast. Uh, my daughter was born in, in June. Uh, 2021 nice. and uh, I have this incredible feeling and I was what can I just do to to keep uh, alive this incredible moment uh, this incredible changement uh, for of my life and the only thing that I know is to draw new watch mm. so this is what happened and during two months I work uh, only on that I stopped working for the uh, customers and uh, at the end, <laughs> I show it to, to some friends on, on Instagram who are big collectors and they explain me, okay, if you, if you want to make your own watch brand, we can support yeah. you. Wow. And, and this is how uh, the subscription starts. Yeah. And uh, I have all those incredible craftsmen with who I worked during the past uh, and I bring this incredible uh, team and I was okay, I just have to, to start it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, some beautiful story just happened during the past when I was working for, for Max just uh, in the same time as the, the COVID uh, with one of the craftsmen who was in a bad situation. He have a, a young daughter and I was OK, I cannot stay like that. I have to, to find a solution just to help yeah. him. And uh, this is how uh, I focused on how to, to help those craftsmen. To, to promote them, to, to give them work. And this is the, the most beautiful things today is uh, I bring this incredible team of craftsmen. Uh, they have worked for a few years now mm. and uh, I'm working on promoting them on different social media. And uh, they are really happy today. So we live uh, an incredible experience, not for only me, yeah. but the, the customers, those craftsmen, they are very happy uh, to be involved in this uh, beautiful project. And here we are. Awesome. Uh, and uh, last week we delivered uh, the first uh, subscription piece. So what's the response from the collectors after seeing the watches finally in uh, flesh, yeah. they can take it home? It was a very long, long, long step. Not so long because it's only two years. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I spent all my time during the day and the night. And yeah, it was very difficult for me to explain that to family. my wife, to the family, just to, to say, OK, I'm doing something, but uh, I promise you I'm doing something yeah, and doing us, my yeah. best. And, and in the future, it will it will be fine for, for us. And the, the last week, it was the, the event with the delivery, with the craftsmen and, and the, the, the customers. And my wife wa was here and she, she explained me after that that she, she was so proud uh, about me because she didn't expect that it involved so much a person mm. and she, she was so happy 
and uh, yeah it was one of the most uh, crazy crazy day of my nice. of my life so congratulations yeah, thank yeah it's you like so a, much. when you buy a watch like this from somebody like you it's like a family the first collectors are not collectors that just pay you money it's like like friends supportive people probably they're going to support uh, all of the additions you're going to make down the line so yeah, but this is awesome to see in person finally. So tell us something about the watch on the dial side, let's say, what, what do we have here? Yeah, so I'm an engineer and I love mechanics and I really care about having these beautiful gears, all the most incredible finishing, the, the black polish, interior angle, engraving, all the stuff that I love and I really want to have uh, on the both sides this very beautiful detail mm -hmm. and I really care about very simple watch. Uh, it makes sense for me just to start uh, a brand with very simple watch yeah, and go water. step by step with time only. I really uh, care about the symmetrical movement. So mm -hmm. this is the reason why on the back side you have this perfect symmetry. So well, remember me the, the pocket watches, mm -hmm. big balance wheel, low frequency, just to enjoy it at its best. The perfect symmetry, I developed a special uh, click system mm -hmm. um, inside the, the crown wheel. There is something more uh, special about the, the screw, this in curved surface uh, mm -hmm. on the top uh, with this beautiful black polish. So very happy with the back side and in the front side. Um, so the back side is more mm -hmm. uh, technical, uh, more my engineer part and, and the front side is more um, the, a different approach, uh, non-symmetrical. Uh, more art artistic mm -hmm. with uh, the, the engraving from Yasmina and engraved and something very new um, mm -hmm. because I, I, I contact uh, Yasmina and uh, first of all I come to her and ask her do you have something in mind mm -hmm. just to, to something pop? new maybe yeah, as well something yeah. new and she tells me oh I have so many things in mind but <laughs> uh, let's try and she come back to me with this incredible uh, dragon scale yeah. And and I was blown away and say, wow, this is what uh, I need. Yeah. And uh, and I show that to 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 the customers, and they they were just crazy about that. Yeah, and also the beveling. Like we have a we have the dial here actually as well next to us. It's cool to see because when the dial is just empty like this, like in this box, you can really see all the details as well, all the beveling and everything. Just looks beautiful. And at nine o'clock, we have like a sapphire disc. Correct? Yeah, sapphire disc and. and I really love uh, old pocket watches, mm -hmm. but I really want to to go a bit deeper uh, with something more, yeah, more futuristic, mm -hmm. uh, contemporain, and this is the reason why some sapphire appear on the dial yeah. just to add something a bit more more modern, huh? modern. Yeah, ah, it's beautiful, and also the hands. I'm a big fan of hands, yeah. so. This is perfect. So I assume this was uh, blue and then polished or the yeah. other one? Yeah, the ends are very just uh, yeah, beautiful and, and you have a lot of work uh, on each uh, end. So I really want to have these big uh, ends will remember me, mm -hmm. Urban Jorgensen. So yeah. uh, I work on, oh. on it when I start working with Jean-François Mojon. Uh -huh. And I, I fell in love with this brand and this is a small remember. And I really care about having interior angle, mm -hmm. which means a lot for me. And you have this beautiful polishing, it's blue by hands. And uh, on the top, you have black polish just to, um, to switch off the blue. And yeah. I have this beautiful uh, light when you play yeah. uh, with the it. Contrast yeah, well. The contrast is very interesting. The most difficult thing was to start with a very new caliber, mm -hmm. and which is uh, everybody, everybody know that it's a big challenge, but I really want and care uh, about having a new new one from the blank page so this is the, the my knowledge and this is what uh, i really want to add in this brand coming yeah. with something very new oh, you did a great job man really. on the side there's a special uh, detail yeah, as well yeah. which so you can also see on the on the box here yeah so, so what's it's the story a behind small this? Uh, remember to to my dad mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the name of of the watch is chronometre artisan mm -hmm. uh, with the s uh, because we really want to, to show uh, what they are able to do, promote them, etc. So I really care about, about craftsmanship because uh, my dad is carpenter in the wood mm -hmm. and to assemble to, to wood components. He often use this key link. Uh, yeah. So I really want to have uh, some remember to him because it starts from, from him. So um, yeah, here oh, we are. Beautiful. And this also seen on the box here. Correct. Yeah. So you have this uh, unified uh, image basically. In a perfect scenario, what direction would you want to go? More like uh, classical complications or you want to develop something astronomical or what's, yes. the, what's the next step or what can you tell us? 
Uh, the next step will be for sure to make live this uh, chronometer artisan mm -hmm. and to, to come with a different version, with different material, mm -hmm. coming with new dial, color and engraving, mm -hmm. come and propose new, new stuff. Um, and for sure, the next step will be to, to come with a new complication. Mm -hmm. So I hope it will be ready for 2026. Nice. So, so in, the, in the meantime, you're going to deliver the first of the subscription and the second, third one. Huh? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so what's the, what's the price of a watch like this? Let's say how much was the subscription? And for yeah. those who don't know, the subscription pieces are usually the first watches a watchmaker makes or a company. As you know, like uh, to fund the company, right? It's not the final price always. Yeah. It was how so, many pieces and what was the price? So the subscription series is 12 uh, pieces mm -hmm. and the price is uh, 50,000 mm -hmm. Swiss franc. So it was the deal uh, to come with very uh, scheduled just to say, okay, mm -hmm. at this time you will see the first prototype, you will have to pay uh, 25% and at the end mm -hmm. for the delivery you will pay the, the last uh, 15%. So the idea was to be the most fair with them, mm -hmm. the most clear and, and transparent with who achieved the, the, the things, the components and who are involved. So uh, come with a fair price, uh, fair approach. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, where we are with, with this uh, subscription piece. And for the titanium version, it will come uh, in December. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same, uh, but the material of the case will be titanium mm -hmm. instead of uh, zirconium and the dial will be a bit different and it will be um, 100 pieces mm -hmm. limited edition. Limited uh, production probably as well, no? The production will be limited of 12 pieces And what's the price going to be of this one? Uh, the price will be uh, 65,000 uh, Swiss oh, franc. Well, it's still okay, huh? Yeah, but it's uh, already sold out for, for the Titanium. Congrats. Jesus. Thank you. So much. It's a great start, huh? Yeah, it's. So you're it's, gonna move offices sooner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we will have to um, to change uh, some stuff and improve a lot, uh, mm -hmm. some some process and nice. stuff. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Simon, thank you so much for your time. I really uh, congrats on all the success, and I can't wait to see where this is gonna go in the future. Me too. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, of course, uh, check out Simon's uh, social media channels. I'm gonna put all the links in the description. If you want us to interview a watchmaker, which we haven't done so far, you know, somebody like Simon or maybe somebody who doesn't live in Switzerland as well, just leave a comment down below. In the meantime, check out the other videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.